Hey Fit Like YouTube, welcome back to another episode. So picked up some blue legged hermit crabs. So just gonna get these acclimated. Right, so that's them acclimated and I'm just gonna chuck these guys into the tank. So there's about 20 of them. So this will help eliminate the last remaining bits of algae that's left on the rocks but so far the snails and that have been doing a fantastic job so here's a look at the display now so as you can see things are looking a lot better than they were a few weeks ago so that's nice to see Now, one thing with the, the aquascape as it is, I'm thinking I'm going to change it, because I'm not really happy with it, to be honest. I mean, I do like it, but there's just uh, certain things that I don't like, which I'll go over shortly. But just having a closer look at all the rock work and that, and adding that extra snails has certainly helped. And now that I've added those extra hermit crabs, I'm sure that's only going to be even better now. So, yep, I'm thinking I'm going to change this aquascape because um, I can just see problems further down the line when I start getting corals and stuff and a lack of space and... I think I'm wanting to change it just so that I can create more depth in the aquarium and since there's not that much coral in here now's the time if I was going to change it now is the time to do it now this is one of the views that it's wanting to kind of change because it's not really that attractive from this side the other thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to leave such a big gap along the back um, this is the first time really I've kind of left this big massive gaps and I mean I understand, I get it so it's easy to clean your back wall but I think when I re aquascape this I'm going to actually make more use of that space towards the back because when you've got your rocks against the back you're creating much more habitat and caves and stuff for territories for fish as well. Because just now, I mean, all right, it's good for the flow. I'm getting, they've got like a nice swimway at the back there. But I just think it would be more beneficial to have more room in the front. And obviously I'm not going to stack all the rocks hard up against the, the back. All I'm meaning is basically there might be the odd piece higher up that might be right towards the back touching the glass and stuff that's what I'm meaning I think that's just going to give a better perception of depth um, cause, I mean I do like the scape as it is but this is more geared towards the fish and I just think when I do eventually start filling it up with corals and there's going to be next to no room for the fish, I think. So, it's a thought, but hey ho, we'll make a start on this tomorrow and I'll go and make up some water and we'll start removing some rocks and removing them about. Now, the good thing is, I must point out, is a lot of these rocks, they're like, I've got them all pegged on acrylic rods so they're more or less like separate islands anyway so all I've got to do basically is there is quite a lot of loose pieces I'll just take them away the main islands I can reposition them just to create what it is that I'm wanting I've got a rough idea of how I want it to look and hopefully it's going to look a lot better than this Right, containers ready, let's do this. 
Right, one last look of the tank, the way it is. And a little side view shot. I'm not going to miss this. This I really don't like this side view. Okay, there's no going back now. I've made the start. So, trying to do this as quick as I can. Just uh, want to put as little stress on the fish as possible. Um, obviously, this is going to be stressful for them. I've got the rock that I've managed to remove in my bucket here, container. And now I'm just going to start juggling the rocks about and see what we can come up with. A few moments later. Really pleased with it. There's tons more swimming space for the fish, which is something that I really wanted. But I also still wanted to give all the fish plenty of hidey holes and caves for territory and I think the more places fish have got to hide, the more likely they are to actually come out and swim about. So this has worked out really well, really happy with it. And as you can see, because it's like all new, all the fish are kind of scrapping a wee bit to sort out who's going to be in what area. So, yep, I'm really happy with this now. Decided to put the, uh, some of the rock up against this wall. It's not all up there. Um, there's still plenty of space, as you can see. And I found this uh, sun coral hidden. <laughs> and there's the other one down there. Now, <clears throat> the hell fricky, Lucifer, he likes to hide under rocks in the sand bed. So what I've done is I've just created this little bit here and pretty much he's the only fish that can kind of fit through there and thankfully he's found that so that's his home so that's awesome. The pistol shrimp has kind of set up his house under this rock at the moment. Every now and again the pink spot gobies found them as well so pink spot goby kind of goes into there as well. But at the moment, uh, he's a wee bit of skitterish, so he's kind of hiding over in the, the main balmy over there. And everyone else is just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. So, we're moving the rocks, it's exposed some of the algae that the fish and that couldn't, snails couldn't reach before. So hopefully they'll get to work on that now. Um, just, just spotted one of the starfish over there. Doing a great job, I'm sure, on the pineapple sponges. There's definitely not as much as there was used to be. So that's great. My only concern with them though is that they go up in the back glass and then they get chewed up by one of the power heads. So just have to keep an eye, make sure they don't go in the back glass. So yep, that's that side. I'm really happy with that. And one of the other reasons I wanted to change the aquascape was because the, uh, the side view. Um, so side view now, just, it's night and day, I think. And the fish have just got way more room to move about. Oh, speak of the devil, there's Jaws doing there. So he's kind of been digging a wee key bit in the back of there. But the pistol shrimp hasn't left up to spot over on the other side yet. So. Houdini chilling in the, the bow mate. 
and the chromies, the two chromies kind of chill out in this bomey and the anthias. I've noticed him in there as well. Stable gun. He's just looking for me to give him another feed. But yeah, once this water clears up, uh, I think it's going to look really good. Need to give the back glass a good clean as well. But, <clears throat> we'll see what like it is tomorrow. Give the water a chance to get all nice and cleaned up. Okie dokie, we'll see how things are tomorrow. <laughs> 